a.m. with little sleep and it's another crazy day. Whoever said that life is fair, they'd better not come our way. Pretty sure the muffler's gone and there's just one thing to say. One look from you and you know it's true, I wouldn't change a thing. As long as we are sticking together, we can take what life may bring. I think love is a theme that has recurred many times in For Better, For Worse, especially with Michael Patterson, who's a real romantic. When he was in grade school, he fell in love with Deanna Sabinski, but they were young and they didn't know how to tell each other, so of course, they teased each other, and then when you get into the teenage years, it's angst. It's filled with angst. You're lying in bed and you're waiting for the phone to ring. Well, of course, then later on you get to be parents and that love changes. You transfer it to your children and you're so protective of them and you want to follow them everywhere and you want to keep them safe and you're so afraid of losing them. And later on in the years when your children have grown up and you're still in love, the two of you, well, the kids might laugh when they see you kiss, but oh, you know how lucky you are. In fact, to have a love like that means you're blessed. What are you doing? Sorry, Dad. I gotta make my costume for the dance. That's right, your first dance. With girls. I guess. So, are you planning to dance with, uh, uh... What's her name? Deanna. Deanna. No. Oh. What do you think? Uh, what are you? A talking head. On a table. Needs work. He is Igor. Our monster has returned. Ha 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 Hi, Gordon. Lawrence. Nice costumes. Hi, Mrs. Patterson. Hey, you changed your hair. Ha ha. So, you guys ready to dance? <laughs> Mom, don't embarrass me, please. What do you want to do, Lizzie? I want to play outside. Okay, get your coat. But Daddy... Yes, Liz. I want to play with you. <sighs> so you're gonna do it? Are you kidding? Dance with a flea nail? What if we, like, touched? Yeah. 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 How about you, Mike? You gonna dance? Sure he is. With you know who. Hey, no way, man. I'm off the hook. Heads can't dance. Uh-oh, flea mail alert. Hello, Deanna. Notice anything different about me, Michael? Uh, you're a flower? Something else. Uh, yes, you got your face straightened. I got my ears pierced, you dummy! Gotta hand it to you, head. You really got away with girls. All 
All right, but I can only play for a little while. <laughs> Michael Patterson, Deanna told me to tell you that she is never speaking to you again. Ooh, big loss. Like you care. Yeah, like I care. Look at all the leaves. There must be millions and millions of them. Daddy, why are they called leaves? Because every time I ask your brother to rake them up, he leaves. <laughs> Do you think that God knows how many leaves there are in the world? It says in the Bible that even the hairs on thy head are numbered. You mean that angels with nothing to do count leaves? Sure, why not? Kind of a dumb job. Yeah. Down here, we'd call it government. <laughs> Typical. Boys on one side of the gym, girls on the other. All right, boys and girls, there will be prizes for the best costumes. But only people dancing will be judged. So come on, everybody dance. Psst. Mrs. Patterson, what are the prizes? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I think I saw a turbo glider. Whoa, want to dance? Oh man, what I wouldn't do for a turbo glider. Yeah, me too. But like I said, the head does not dance. Wait a sec, I just had a brainwave. Amazing talking head, I command you, dance, dance! Ha 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 ha! I'm gonna kill you, Igor. Ha ha ha! When you have a kid, you have to take what you get. Don't you, Dad? Uh-huh. Are you glad you got me? Sure am. No what? No, what? I'm glad I got you, too. Wanna go in now, Dad? Not quite yet. Daddy, you put me down! And first prize was a tough one. So the judges have decided on a tie between Michael Patterson and Deanna Sabinski. Why don't you two start off the next dance? We're not even speaking to each other. Maybe we should. Maybe. You know, to keep the teacher happy. That'd be nice. look really good, Deanna. Thanks. Could I be yours over there? Mine! <laughs> what am I? Your personal amusement park? <laughs> uh. What now? What happened? What? What? 
You yelled. Did I? Oh, sorry. Must have been, you know, along with the music. Nothing's wrong. Really? Hmm. It's lipstick. It melted all over my gym clothes. Lipstick? I forgot it was in my pocket. Is there anything we can do, Mom? Lipstick? I've been wearing it at school. Oh. I won't wear it again, I promise. Can you fix it? I'll try, but you'll have to watch April. Thanks, Mom. And I mean watch her. She's your responsibility. Come on, April. I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. Use both eyes. Yeah. Pretty Bubbles? Pretty Bubbles? Bubbles? Mine! Go on. Want some more? Go on, blow. Like this. Hey! No, April! Let go! Way to go, April. Coming in for a kiss. Hey, Lizard Breath, I need to borrow your Walkman. Use your own. The batteries are deceased, man. Do me a favor. Whew, that was easy. You can borrow it if you watch April. What? You're watching April! Oh. Oh. Juice, juice! Huh? Me, juice! Okay, okay, you juice. One juice coming up. Farley, watch April. Yeah. Michael, I'd like you to mow the lawn. Gee, Dad, I'd really like to, but I can't. I'm watching April. You're watching April. Don't worry, Dad. My assistant's on the job. <laughs> juice, juice! You mow the lawn, I'll watch April. Ah, Go! Teddy bear, clown, pearls, and most important, newspaper for daddy. <laughs> Dad -dad. Free bears, more free bears. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, how about Snow White? No, free bears. Okay, I'll find, oh no. <gasps> Michael for Pete's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael, Michael. Yeah, 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 yeah. You stay there, April. Daddy'll be back in a minute. Lizzie, would you watch April for a moment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Ah, will success spoil Ellie Patterson? Now what? When I ask you to do something, I don't expect you to make a game of it. No wonder you never finish anything. What did he do now? You stay out of this. Elizabeth, where's April? Michael's watching her. Dad's watching her. Elizabeth's watching her. <gasps> April? April! April, we're here. April? No, she's not there. April, what are you doing in here? I want April. Well, I'm glad somebody is.
Junk food! I need junk food! I just cut up some nice healthy carrot sticks. Mom, you don't understand! Anthony hasn't called! What you watching? Revenge of the Invisible Man. How much to become invisible? More than you can afford. Got it! Hello? Oh, hi, Anthony. Yeah, I'm kind of busy. Oh, well, I guess I could. See ya! Marco! Ugh! Oh, well, I guess I could, Anthony. Dweeb. A date. When's he picking you up? Half an hour. Half an hour?! I used to be that desperate. Ow! What you doing? Get out of my room. Michael says you got to date with Anthony. That's right. So go away. Mm, what's a date? It's like when you go out. Outside? To play? Not exactly, okay? And you have to dress up? Not exactly. Which sweater do you like? Mine. You are no help. Not exactly. <laughs> On a date? Hey, Sistwarp, down in front. Deanna, which one? This one? Hmm. Makes you look fat. Ow! <laughs> or this one? The black one. And wear your red scarf. Uh, thanks. What's this? Hot couture? Not now, Mom. I've got a date with Anthony. Okay. Mom, my date ran away. What a romantic ending. Would you slay a zombie for me? A zombie? How big of a zombie? Just a small one. Oh, a small zombie. Sure. My red scarf! It's gone! What am I gonna do? Oh, speaking of zombies... Come here. I'll fix your hair. Oh, great. That's nice. Remember when I used to French braid your hair? You did pigtails, Mom. They were French pigtails. Got it! <laughs> oh, Anthony! Uh, no, Liz isn't here. Uh, she just got in a hot sports car with some cute college guy. I wouldn't wait up. Give me that! Give me the phone! Hello, Anthony. Anthony? He hung up! Michael! He didn't hang up. He got cut off. Cut off? By who? My scarf! My date! My god. April, get my scarf off the dog now or I'm going to kill you! <laughs> uh. 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 Anthony, don't hang up! That was pretty mean, Michael Patterson. What? Me? Blame the dog. He unplugged the phone. That's no way to treat a girl. Hey, it's my sister. I have an obligation. Well, I don't think it was very funny. Come on, Deanna. Come on, Edgar. Good doggy. It was just my stupid brother. Anthony, I wouldn't hang up on you. Why don't you just admit it was your fault? Let's define the word fault. Hey! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> April!
April, I need that scarf now. I'm trying. Sit still, Edgar. Liz, Michael would like to apologize. Um, let's define the word apologize. I don't care how you define the word apologize. You guys, look! Mom got a date. 